way it's in from Impact Off-Road here, and we're pretty excited about um, what we've just traded here. The climb is updated to a brand new tipper, and this is a heavy duty tipper. We rarely get these coming back in stock. So it's your opportunity to buy a vehicle at a far reduced price, um, but also there's some extra accessories on it that the client needed uh, for what they were doing on their big 2,000 acre farm um, down on the East Cape. So the first thing you'll notice on the front is not just a bull bar, but we've got the big cab over bars as well. So you get that protection. Um, his farm was quite hilly, so um, there was a risk of rollover. This never rolled over, but he just wanted that insurance. He also wanted his front uh, spare tyre mounted to the front of the vehicle, um, which is what this is for. So you can mount um, your spare ATV tyre on there. Coming round, we've got our standard off-road kit. Um, which has got our 23 inch um, heavy duty rubber tyres and wheels on it and this tipper is a heavy duty tipper it's proper what we would call a bin or a chucky world they call a bin tipper so if you look at the sides of the tipper they are very very thick and very very wide you can drop them down and as you can see very very heavy duty um, you've got your 6mm rubber mat on there which is anchored to the top so yes, we have thought of that, we are engineers, we do think outside the square, so if you do load something in there, the mat's not going to slide off, okay, and end up at the bottom of the rubbish that you've just gotten rid of. You'll also notice that it's got a full cab protection, okay, it goes right to the top, our light duty tippers do not have this. You can still see out the back window and um, over there, so, and you've got your 12s in terms of reversing and view out the back. Um, and by the way, we also do supply, when you get your off-road kit, we supply all the standard wheels and tyres. So if you're on a property that's wet in winter and dry in summer, you can run these in summer easily. Um, or with our new vehicles, if you want farm reg, then if you've got to go into town um, and use it on the road, then you just throw these on and away you go, rather than wasting or shortening the life of your ATV tyres. Now this is a tipper with a two-way tail lift. So that means that you can drop it one of two ways. So here we lift up both of those, we can drop it like this, and we can tip, so you can slide off. So if you've got a big load, and you just want to get rid of the whole lot, this is what you'll do. Is just tip it, like that. And it's a two function. Alright, if I keep going, the tyres will fall off. Shall we see if they fall off? Are they going to fall off? Are they falling off? Are they moving? Oh, there you go. Awesome. So now we'll put that down. Well, while it's up, come and have a look at the uh, electro and the hydraulic tipper. Fantastic unit, single ram. And we just, these are bulletproof. So we have very, very rarely have any challenges with these. Um, so the tray is properly uh, reinforced. Um, you also have the stopper up there. So if you're working underneath it, you've got to stay, lower it down on the say so this won't drop on top of you, but it's nice and clean and tidy inside. Um, so these are actually fitted at the factory in Japan. They're not um, fitted in New Zealand, but this is how they arrive. So very, very heavy duty piece of kit. So I'm gonna lower it now, as you can see just here on the buttons. And what I'm gonna do is show you um, the second uh, way that the tailgate will go. Um, so it means that if you want to do any spreading of gravel on your um, races or anything like that, then you simply don't unlock these tops. Alright, so now we're going to raise it up and show you how the tipper works. The second way. So as you can see, the tailgate is now opening from the bottom. Alright. So we can put chains on these, so if you want to spread some gravel or you want some um, just scoria or whatever else that you want to tip off, just like a normal tip truck, here it is. This is the also the time where you can actually remove this totally. So if I lower this deck a wee bit, you'll see what I mean. So if you want to have um, no tailgate at all, what I would simply do now, as you can see that's running free, I'll lift these up, lift this up, and gone. Right. and then you can drop the sides down as well. You can also, if you do want to, take the split pins out of the side here, the split pins in here, 
and if you punch these out, these three out, you can take all the sides up, so creating a total flat there. So it's an incredibly versatile vehicle. Um, tow bar is all there, ready to go, all the flares are ready to go, and this vehicle's only traveled four and a half thousand k's, it's a 2018. Um, it wasn't complied originally, so it is an off-road use vehicle only, but it's ready to do some serious work on your farm. So give us a call and we'll show up and you can have a test drive. One of the questions we get uh, commonly asked is how noisy are these? Can you hear it? You don't have that thump, 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 thump. This is running. Okay, so they are very, very quiet. In fact, a lot of people walk up to them after a day's work and they have either forgotten to turn them off or they don't realize they've left it running um, and they try to start it again. They are very, very quiet, so you don't have to worry about earmuffs or anything like that. Um, yeah, they're just awesome, awesomely quiet in the cab. You'll enjoy driving them, especially with the aircon and these and the heater. So, hey, you need to drive one.